Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and who is ready to face the most overpowered guy in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, on the console on this game? Mana, Mana Wyden Fablier, most OP mother effer in the game. Uh, dueled Yugi twice, got the Dark Magician, also got a Monster Reborn out of it. Uh, and two Celtic Guardians, dueled Joey one more time, couldn't get the... Uh, didn't get the what we call it red eyes, so I just kind of moved on from that. Uh, and then so we got a few additions. We're taking Mirror Wall into this duel because this dude is unfair. Prepare to meet your doom. Yep, I am. He is so cheap. It's not funny, man. It's so unfair. It's annoying and it's super unfair. But we're gonna try our best. We are going to try our best those force cards though they're legit the most unfair thing ever and I'm just gonna go quick for the crazy fish summon I don't even know why I'm summoning this but I'm gonna move it in not gonna go down the middle towards him I'm gonna go out the outside but he's gonna he gets ballsy real quick and if that's force that's force and that's not a good thing that's not a good thing. Run, crazy fish. Run. Uh, the forest really doesn't... I guess I guess it could help me. Yeah, I guess it could, because I can Rose Specter of Dunn, but... And it kind of t detracts, because most of his cards are dark anyway, so it kind of detracts their field power bonus. So that's going to help a little bit, but not too much. I need to draw a mirror wall now. I need to have the draw. Of the, uh, need to have the draw of destiny, really. And three thousand attack. I feel like is not enough. I don't think it'll be enough. And I don't know what I'm doing with crazy fish over here. We're just, we're just moving like a champion. If I don't get rid of a card in my hand, I'm not doing anything effective. So I've got to move legendary sword out there. Now things are getting interesting. He's getting map position. This is just not good. This is not good. I needed to I need to draw something here. I need something. Axe of Despair is not that something. Um This is not good. I gotta draw I gotta get something out here. I've got nine summon levels. Let's get rid of Axe of Despair and summon out Barrel Dragon. Now I'm going to take the shot that Barrel Dragon destroys the card with the Force. Nope, it destroyed my own legendary sword. That's not good. Okay, we're moving Crazy Fish around the outside. Around the outside. And he is coming for me like none other. This is, this is getting interesting real fast because I think that card has more attack than Barrel Dragon. So, things have gotten interesting real fast. That's a force. Oh my god, big insect. You are expensive to find out what this card is right there. Uh, before, so I can know what to do to combat it. It's, I don't know what to do. Things are getting interesting. Okay, so we've got Gust Fan. Not helpful. I guess I'll just use Gust Fan as an extra wall of defense, even though it doesn't help whatsoever. So we're about to find out what that card that got forced was. What is it? Kinetic Soldier. Okay. I can I can handle that dish, maybe, not really. 43-5. This is not good. This is really not good. I need to draw something. It doesn't even have to be mirror wall. Okay, thirty. That's only thirty-five hundred. She can't combat it even yet. Um, um. But she can, I guess, go back towards the middle. I guess I'll take the odd way around. Power increase. Power increase. I guess I'll keep moving crazy fish in. I guess that's all I can do for now. There's nothing much I can do to prevent anything. Kinetic Soldier is going to take out my Gust Fan, okay. 
I could lead him on a semi wild goose chase back here, but. Oh! Okay, way to leave your life points wide open. Throw Spectre of Dun. Deal some damage. There we go. 3,500. 35 hundy sticks. Okay, we're gonna set Barrel Dragon there. Fairy King Truesdale. I'm gonna play the reverse trap there just to block it. I don't think I don't think he gets a Do you see that? Increased two thousand bonus points in battles against warriors? That is cheap. As all get out. That's essentially GG. You gotta block my You gotta block my attack wire, you're gonna lose right here. Oh game. Game, that's game! Oh my gosh, we just beat him. That's amazing. Suck my dick. Uh hold on, I wanna flip the Dark Magician first. I'll flip him into defense just in case something unforeseen happens, but nope. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! We did it! We beat Metafablier! Yes! You have to beat him quick and you've got to beat him early. You cannot let him set up those forts because he's got another one in his deck. Which then. So if he can draw both of those force cards out really early, you can be down to 1,000 life points extremely fast. No, no! This is not justice. I. I I can't lose. Oh, but you did. Impossible. No. Like that, like I, the I thing they did. Seto, the summoning is undone. Da 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 da. My family. Legend has it that my family was the only noble line to actually enter into a pact of glory with a card guardian. But some time in the past, the pact was broken for reasons that are veiled in the mist of history. For generations, our family has searched the world in the hopes of finding the same card guardian to revive the pact and the glory that was once ours. Since the day I inherited the Book of M at Dumkul, I've searched far and wide. Many, of, many are the guardians I've awakened, only to return them to their resting place. To date, my search for the one true guardian goes unrewarded. You can't imagine how excited I was when I come to England and learned of the Rose Duelist legend. Needless to say, the result was anticlimactic at best. I apologize for dragging you into all this. I will honor my promise of returning you to your own age. However, I fear that that is not enough to repay you for your help. If you give me a blue eyes, wait. I'm thinking a blue eyes white dragon would have served just fine right there, Seto. It would have been great. Here, take this back with you. I will continue in my quest to find the one true guardian. Perhaps it is my destiny to fail, but my descendants shall carry on the search. Should you meet such a descendant of mine, show this rose pendant. For from this day onward, my family is ever in your debt and will lend whatever support it is within their power to provide. This is this I promise as an inter eternal pledge, a pledge of roses. Thank you, Kaiva. In the days that followed, the mystic barrier maintained by the sorcery of the cards faded away, leaving England's shore vulnerable to invasion. In August of 1485, Yugi Henry Turter successfully landed in Milford Haven. Defeating Richard III in the Battle of Bosworth, Yugi was crowned as King Henry VII. The Tudor reign was to continue on until Elizabeth I. As for Seto and the Rose Crusaders, they disappeared from England, never to be seen or heard from again. The only record of their existence remains in the form of an inscription carved on the back of the rose pendant. The man is born to die, but the pledge of roses is born to live throughout all eternity. It is a pledge recorded in mystic numbers. Okay, hold on. I gotta put this into my phone. Because it is a card that we get. Y34 P N. 1 S V. Okay. There's that, okay. Yugi, the Duelist of the Roses, the White Rose chapter, and. Boom! Yes, I would love to save.
save data for the okay, yes, override it. Save complete. So now we're gonna, like right there, there. You could have given me that card right there, Kaiba. Would have been awesome. Could have given me that blue eyes. Well, I'm not gonna make you guys sit through the credits, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't, and I am so freaking happy we beat that guy. He is so ridiculously hard. I can't even explain it. I'll have to duel him again um, and just kind of show you guys how stupidly hard he can get eventually. Uh, maybe. I don't know if I want to take a loss for that, but we'll see. Um, I will catch you all later. Peace out, everyone.